Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before we jump into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like, it really helps us out. Subscribe to never miss when you post a video. And then comment down below if you guys have any questions after this video, if there's any videos you want to see in the future, let us know. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> Today's video is all about hotel takeovers. What are hotel takeovers? How do I find them? How do you dress to them? What happens at them? And so we're gonna let you know exactly what happens at Swinger Hotel Takeovers. So what is a hotel takeover? A hotel takeover can either be a full hotel takeover or a partial hotel takeover. And what that is is when a group of people or a company or a lifestyle website or whoever it is rents out either a whole hotel or a part of a hotel. That can be either a floor or that can be um, specific floors. It can be a section of the hotel if it's a partial one or it can be the entire hotel. And that's usually when it's more fun, when it's a full hotel takeover. We've noticed in the past that whenever it's partial, you kind of have to be a little bit more cautious to say things out loud just because you're gonna have other families and things like that around you. So that's something to take into consideration when you're considering what is the perfect hotel takeover for you to book. It's going to be a group of swingers, so you're going to know that everyone there is there for the same reason. Everyone is in the lifestyle, so you're able to be more open and meet people. It's a really, really great way to go and meet new people if you didn't want to do dressed online or if you didn't want to go to a club and it's super fun because you can get a hotel room and everything, but we'll get more into that. They usually take place over a whole weekend. Typically, the biggest party will be on Saturday, but it's usually Friday, Saturday, and then partly on Sunday. Usually, people will check out on Sunday, but maybe they'll go get brunch. So next question is where are hotel takeovers? They can only be anywhere, but the most common places that we see are normally either kind of like chain hotels, you know, like a Hilton or whatever it is. Then also sometimes you'll have them at like little boutique hotels as well. You can find these events, hotel takeovers, by going on swinger dating sites. Sometimes you'll find them on local Facebook groups. And if you're networking and you have a lot of friends, sometimes it'll be a birthday party or some kind of full takeover for multiple people's birthday parties or anniversaries, stuff like that. So make sure you're networking and you're on all the websites. Who is normally at these parties? Generally, the biggest group you're gonna see is couples. There's gonna probably be some single females there. And then depending on who is hosting the party, sometimes they allow single males, sometimes they do not. The tickets and the pricing depends on whoever is throwing the party. Depending on the group, they might sell the ticket separately than the hotel room. Sometimes it could be a bundle. Sometimes you have to have a hotel room to go to the party. Sometimes you can get a ticket without having a hotel room. So it all depends on whoever is throwing that specific hotel takeover. So what do you wear to these things? It's all gonna depend as well. Lots of times there is going to be theme nights at these parties. So we personally always like to dress up on theme. Generally, the men don't dress up quite as much as the women or maybe not quite as elaborately, but we like to dress on theme. If not, you know, just wear a nice shirt. If you're a guy, you know, do something that looks nice, put together, clean. Women normally wear little cocktail dresses. At hotel takeovers, people normally don't wear quite as much lingerie just because you're gonna be in a conference room or something. It's not just gonna be at a club where you see people topless and stuff like that. So you dress a little bit differently than if you were just going to, let's say, a swing club. This is probably what you're really wanting to know. What actually happens at these hotel takeovers? Usually the party is going to be in a conference room or some kind of big banquet room that the host will rent out. That's going to be where the party is. Imagine that like a club, like the swingers club, just without the playrooms. So we'll get more into how the play works a little bit later, but there's going to be uh, music there, there's dancing, sometimes there's a mini bar, sometimes they allow you to bring your own drinks in and a tumbler, again, yeah. all depends. There's usually some really nice lighting, it's usually kind of a little bit darker with a bunch of lights in the background. It's just a really fun and sexy atmosphere in there. So we absolutely love the conference room and hotel takeovers. Imagine it like a lounge, it's a place that you can go, mingle, talk to people. Sometimes they'll even have games, sometimes Sometimes there's gonna be a DJ. Again, it all depends, but the conference room is where the big party is at. One of the big differences is generally there is not gonna be playrooms at hotel takeovers. Maybe if you have the right party, the right place, you might have one, but it's not a very common thing to have playrooms at hotel takeovers. But that is one thing that's really fun about it is if everyone has their own hotel room, if you meet people, you meet a group, you have your own hotel right there. It's just an elevator right up. And so it's really fun to kind of have your own room. We also really recommend 
to make your room look really nice, make it cute. We bring light, we put up little pineapples, do things like that. And we'll make a whole video if you guys would like to see it of how to decorate a room for a hotel takeover or for a hotel party in general. But we like to make them all cute, it's kind of fun. And then if you invite people back up, you can have music and it's just a really good time. So although there's not typically playrooms in the conference room where everybody goes to unless it's a complete full hotel takeover, and that's again, rarely, but it's kind of like you have a lot of different playrooms. So if you kind of make your room a playroom and then make it as cute and as like sexy and again with the lighting and the music, it's like you have your own playroom that you can invite whoever you want to invite. A lot of the times at these parties, people will go in and out of their room to the conference room back and forth. So you're gonna see people kind of cross paths quite a bit. A lot of fun stuff also happens in the hallways. You meet a lot of people. There's like little fun shenanigans that happen in the hallways as well. And I feel like that's also part of the hotel takeover experience. It's not just in the conference room and just in the rooms itself, but just kind of everywhere around the hotel. I would say you generally see it maybe one to two o'clock at night. The main conference room is kind of empty. At that point, most of the time, people have gone up to their rooms. It's really normal to see almost like a bar crawl or like a room crawl where people will go from one room to another. Maybe they're having drinks or playing games or whatever it is, but it's pretty normal just to find a little group of people and go from room to room, or maybe you're in a room and you found the right couple and Depending again on the hotel takeovers, because there's so many different kinds of them and so many people that put them on, you might have pool parties during the day or if the pool is open at night, maybe they have a pool party at night. And there's usually a Facebook group or some type of community where everybody can talk about that specific hotel takeover. Sometimes there's seminars, sometimes there's games, sometimes there's so many different things, but really the basis of what happens at a hotel takeover is it's like a club, but everyone has a room. If you're newer into the lifestyle too, and you are trying out a hotel takeover, we really like them because not only do you get to meet a ton of people, but if you happen to feel uncomfortable, or if you happen to feel like, hey, I just like wanna be with my partner right now, and you have a hotel room, you're always able to just walk to your room and have that safe space and just regroup and, and talk about everything, and then you can like go back to the party, and I think that's a really cool thing about hotel takeovers. We also love, and we always do this every time at a hotel takeover, is we usually make friends and then we'll go back to one of our rooms and have a drink together and just listen to music and then go back to the party. So it's really a really fun way to make friends. It's just so nice that it's right there. You have your own room, your friends have room. It's just such a fun way to have a party. There you have it. I mean, that is pretty much what happens at hotel takeovers. So hopefully that kind of helped you guys figure out, you know, if this is right for you. It's one of our favorite types of parties. But like we said, it's going to vary drastically from every party to every party. That's kind of the general way everything flows in them. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about it, make sure to leave it below. Subscribe to our channel. It's really, really helps us out and it's free to you. Make sure to like the video. That also helps us a ton. We really appreciate it. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.